welcome to another video all right in today's tutorials we are going to provide a solution to this program okay so solution now we are given x cube minus x equals to 60. all right now we want to because of this x raised to 3 we want to support this one so that we use the 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 sum of cubes and the difference of cubes okay so this one because of this 60 we are going to support this now what we are going to do here is to write the 60 as 64 minus 4 and 64 minus 4 is the same as 60 i've done nothing now I have x cube minus x. All right. Now before we proceed, if it is the first time you're watching my video, please kindly subscribe to this channel and also hit on the notification bell, which will prompt you any time I upload. All right. Thanks for doing that. Now from here, we can write this as x cube minus x equals to so 64 is the same as 4 to the power 3 minus 4 okay now let's bring everything in that will be x cube minus so let's make it minus x minus 4 raised to 3 plus 4 equals to 0 now when you are given a cube minus minus b cube and the same as a minus b then I have a squared plus a b plus b squared now looking at this difference of cubes we can join this and that okay so from here we can see x cube minus 4 cube okay minus x plus 4 okay equals to 0 now from here x cube my x cube minus 4 cube is the same as x minus 4 x squared okay plus 4x plus 4 squared 16 so minus x minus 4 minus x plus 4 go to 0 all right now we have x minus 4 okay x squared plus 4x plus 16 okay now we can write this one as minus x minus 4 okay equal to 0 now if i should you know take up the bracket i'll end up getting minus x plus four so i've done nothing now from here i can factorize okay x minus four out so this side will be x minus four so i will leave it x squared plus 4x plus 16 okay so this side will be with minus 1 equal to 0 so if i should go back this one will get give us this so we have this all right so from here 
So with z product x minus 4 is same as 0. Okay. And x squared plus 4x. So we can write this one as 15 equal to 0. So we have the z product. Okay, so from here, x minus 4 equal to 0, therefore x equals 4. So that's the first solution to this problem. Now let's look at x squared plus 4x plus 15. Now from here, we are going to compare this one with the general quadratic formula. That is ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is 1, b is 4, and c is 15. So we have x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac on 2a. So we have minus b, so b minus 4 plus or minus b squared is 4 squared minus 4 times a1 c15 on 2 times 1. So we have minus 4 plus or minus. 16 minus so 4 5 20 so times 1 so we have minus 60 on 2 so from here my x will be minus 4 plus or minus okay so we have um, we have 16 minus 60, okay, 16 minus 60, that will be minus 44, over 2, okay, so from here we have x minus for plus or minus so remember square root of negative one is i from complex numbers so you can write this one as minus one minus one times 44 okay on two so let's write it well so we have x equals minus four plus or minus minus 1 times 44 so from here since this side can be written as minus 4 plus or minus square root of 44 times square root of minus 1 so this one will be i so my x will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 44 i on two so the second solution will be minus four plus square root of 44 i on two or so minus four minus square root of 44 two so these are the solutions okay remember these solutions are all complex so if we are to verify with the rest solution that is x squared 4 so x cube minus x now let's plug in 4 and see so 4 to the power 3 here will be 64 okay so 64 minus 4 
that will be 60. Okay, so that's the correct answer.